Hello everyone, good news and bad news. The good news is I finally managed to get a haircut. The bad news is, unfortunately, we're in the home studio again because the, the iPad's just been a nightmare this week, to tell you the truth. But it's been sorted out, so hopefully we'll be back in the chapel ASAP before it gets rocky. But anyway, welcome to our uh, lived in light on a Wednesday. Uh, let's begin with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> So this week, 10.4 have got a bunch of things that they want to share with us about the Ascension. So, I'll hand over to them. The feast day of the Ascension commemorates Jesus' Ascension into heaven 40 days after his resurrection. This year it is celebrated on Thursday the 13th of May. 40 days after the resurrection of Jesus Christ, the Acts of the Apostles reports Jesus' Ascension into heaven. The Ascension is an important Christian feast day attesting and celebrating the reality of Jesus Christ returning to the Father and promise to return again. The Ascension is the final component of the Paschal Mystery, which consists also of Jesus' Passion, Crucifixion, Death, Burial, Descent Among the Dead and Resurrection. Along with the Resurrection, the Ascension functioned as a proof of Jesus' claim that he was the Messiah. Thank you so much to 10.4 for researching and sharing with us those amazing facts because they're super interesting. Now as the guys mentioned, tomorrow is the Feast of the Ascension and it's the day where Jesus took all of the souls up to heaven. So today I invite you to take a moment to think about those people who we've lost and who are in heaven. Think about them, pray for them and for the people that they have left behind. Now, although sometimes this can make us feel quite sad thinking about these things, what's wonderful is that we know that they are with Jesus and he took them to heaven with him when he ascended. And hopefully in that, you can find some real peace and love knowing that they are with him now. I know I certainly do. But let's join the prayers that we've all said together across our entire school together today by saying the prayer which Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Awesome. So I'm conscious that this is the first time we've kind of like spoken about the word of the week this week, um, but it is witness. And so your mission for this week is to be a witness of um, Jesus to those around you. And I think the best way that you can do that is by showing love to people because God is love. So be a witness to those around you this week, guys. Don't forget to do that. Um, but let's end today with the sign of the cross in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.